It is perhaps not too much of a surprise, but nevertheless thoroughly pleasant. Now, not the best view of the Nkuhuma Cubs that we've ever had, but definitely a very special way to be spending a Friday afternoon out in the bush. And luckily for us, lion cubs don't tend to stay too still for too long, which means there is a chance that they are going to start moving more into the open area to start to play, because I think that their play is a little bit restricted. Hmm? Some angry elephants I can hear off in the distance. You won't be able to hear them, unfortunately. But they're definitely sounding very cross and perhaps like they're moving towards the Voyatella Dam, for those of you who are regular watchers of the Juma Dam camera. So Mom is here. She has a position, positioned herself in an even more obscure place, hidden behind the bushes and the leaves. She's next to invisible to us, apart from the odd twitch of the ear every now and again. A really, really tricky position in Maggie the Makeshift Mahindra. Oh, just to give you a sort of a, a brief idea of where we are, we are on the west, uh, sorry, the eastern bank of a river system that cuts through in front of us. So there is a enorm an enormous dip in front of us. There is an enormous dip on the other side of the lines. Uh, it would have been okay for our little landies. And I know that Rusty did a fantastic job this morning, or at least Brent driving Rusty did a fantastic job of positioning in a, a good spot to see them. But for us, that is next to impossible. So we'll just have to bear with the view that we have for now and hope that the little cubs decide to oblige us by... Oh, they are starting to play behind the trees. You see a little bit of that, Brian. Awesome. Wonderful. I've been, I have to tell you, so excited about seeing these cubs properly. And now to have them, for the moment, happily living on Juma is just such a pleasure. There's only two there for now. One foot in the air. I don't know where the third cub is. It was definitely here this morning when we were with them. So it's probably around, maybe just it's feeling slightly sleepier than its siblings. Lion cubs keep up an almost constant game of battling with each other until they fall asleep, until nap time. And then nap time ensues for a couple of hours and then it's right back to the very important business of building up those muscles and fighting techniques that they will need to use when they are full-grown big cats. Well, since our little lion cubs are doing a fantastic job of sort of behaving like the adults and remaining stealthy and hidden, let's go over to Quarantine, who is up and about. <laughs> 